back to you today from kind of my old workspace. I have a different project going on over there and hopefully for the next phase of this I can use that again. Anyway, um, this is going to be a layered soap and I'm going to be doing this one all natural, 100% natural with plant-based colors and essential oils. This is something that I try to keep on hand all the time. Um, I call it patchouli woods. It's a blend of patchouli, cedarwood, litsia, and um, clove, a little tiny touch of clove. I'm not a big uh, patchouli fan, but I really love this. Uh, patchouli is a really lovely blender. It gives, it gives a lot of fragrances, earthiness, some depth. So anyway, that's what this one is going to be. What I'm gonna do is Today I'm gonna to make my horizontal layers and then tomorrow or the next day, I'll go ahead and cut it in half and then this will become two separate, um, it'll go into two separate loaves and then I will do some type of design in those. And if you can see over here, so I'm gonna slice it out of the way, I've got my two column molds. I have a, a tree, an evergreen tree, and then I have a maple leaf. So I wish I had two trees, but you know what, for a patchouli woods or a woods look, uh, both of them are gonna work fine. So I'll end up with half of the, the bar, so horizontally, not horizontally, um, diagonally across the bar, I'll have those horizontal layers coming up and then the other side I'll have either the tree or leaf and I'll do some type of swirls or something in there. Okay, so I've got my fragrance all divided out. I'm going to be putting a little bit into each layer. Um, my oils, um, this is this is just one layer, so I'm not even gonna get my big stick blender out. I'm gonna be using my little, little wand blender, have my um, lie separate out so each one I'll have to, to do so this one will take me quite a while to do I'm not gonna stand here the entire time and record it because I'll be here for hours So this will be one that I'm going to pour later a uh, pour a layer Excuse me walk away and then come back to pour the next layer. So I want to have um, alternating colors I'm going to do um, fragrance in all of them. This is you know, it's a dark blend so this will darken everything up um, but I'm gonna have a layer of the, the essential oil blend with coffee grounds and then an essential layer um, with alkanet roots. And I'm not doing an infusion for this. I'm going to straight up add it in and it gives it a really nice dark, kind of purplish brown toasty look. Now if you do an infusion of alkanet, then you'll get a really pretty purple. I'm not doing with this. I'm gonna be straight adding it straight up in there. So anyway, first layer is going to be coffee grounds and then I will do next layer, next layer. So I'm gonna have nine layers of this and then I will um, cover it up, and leave it alone. Um, like I said, come back tomorrow, cut it in half. My goal is to, I don't want like a straight diagonal. I think I might try to like, I'll probably have to cut the entire loaf in half this way. And then I wanna use, try to use my crinkle cutter to cut it in half, but it's, I can only go so deep. So I think if I come from each half from both sides, I might be able to do that. We'll see, because I'd like to have some, some texture in there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started.